the Pantanal and El Cerrado, two intricately interconnected ecosystems as vast as they are unknown. Together they comprise one of the most highly biodiverse regions on the entire planet. Animals like the capybara enjoy this halfway lifestyle, always between the land and the water. Even the mighty jaguar must accept the rules of the Pantanal. Very often it will plunge into its watercourses in pursuit of prey or in search of new territories. In fact, the jaguar is one of the most water-loving of all felines. It can dive and swim long distances with great confidence. It's not uncommon for jaguars to cross paths with giant otters, the true monarchs of the local waters. Giant river otters spend most of their lives in these murky waters, where their perfectly adapted anatomy allows them to swim and dive at their leisure. They're quick and agile. The Pantanal is home to one of the largest populations of giant otters in America for two simple reasons. Water and food are both guaranteed. Otters almost always move in small family groups, traversing their territory again and again in search of fish. Giant otters are the most effective predators in the river. There is no other fisherman to match them. Their knowledge of every corner of the river, each current where fish might hide, is unparalleled. And so the hunt ends in what is a foregone conclusion. Every member of the family captures its lunch without much ado, devouring it immediately as they leisurely swim and float in their watery home. Otters are very early risers, usually at first light. But while they were taking a well-deserved night's rest a few hours earlier on the dry land of El Cerrado nearby, more of the environment's inhabitants were on the prowl. This scorpion is working overtime. Instead of hiding with the first rays of sun, it prolongs the night shift to hunt a little more. 
battle-armoured arachnids, scorpions are supremely at home in the aridity of El Cerrado. Just one tiny part of the great natural wealth of this wooded savanna, which accounts for 5% of all biodiversity on the planet. But the dramas of the miniature world of El Cerrado may have surprising denouement. A locust or a large grasshopper would be an excellent breakfast before retiring to sleep. The scorpion is quick and agile, but so is the grasshopper. With its venom-swollen sting, the scorpion understandably feels confident and powerful. But it hasn't taken into account a local Cerrado lizard, the Argentine black and white tegu, a fierce animal, and right now, a hungry one. The lizard is not afraid of the scorpion, believing it knows the arachnid's weak points. There can be no doubt, another duel to the death begins in El Cerrado. It's a furious, ruthless encounter. The reptile attacks, bites and shakes its prey. But the scorpion is not overawed. It raises its poisonous hook in defense. But finally, the scorpion can resist no longer, and the lizard swallows it whole. This hunter has been hunted. <laughs> 